Hi, this is Ahana. In this video, we are going to understand what is Web API. Let's first understand what is API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. We can say API is a kind of interface or intermediate agent that has a set of functions that allow different software applications to communicate with each other over the internet. Now, coming to Web API, Web API is an API over the web which can be accessed using HTTP protocol. Please note, Web API is not a framework. It's a set of rules and protocols that allow different software applications to communicate with each other over the internet. We can use different frameworks to build Web API like HP.NET Core, Node.js, Django. These are just a few names. There are many other frameworks that you can use to build Web API. In this series, we are going to use ASP.NET Core to build Web API. Web API itself does not have a user interface. Web APIs typically expose endpoints and respond to HTTP requests allowing clients to retrieve or send data in a structured format, often using JSON or XML. However, the applications that consume these APIs have user interfaces and they are responsible for presenting data to the user. These client applications can be web, mobile, desktop or any type of application. Let's say we have built a web application. Let's say this is student information system and we are storing and retrieving data from a database. In traditional approach, what we do, we write everything, user interface logic, data access logic, everything in a single application. It will web application will have all the logic. Tomorrow you may feel like building mobile application as well. Then what will happen? You will have a redundant code. Your mobile application will have same business logic that you have in web application that is to interact with the database. In such case, we can introduce Web API, which will have a logic to interact with the database. Both web application and mobile application call this API whenever they want the data. Web API offers several advantages. Very important one is this enables interoperability between different software systems. Here you can see we have database and applications like web application and mobile application. And, is the, and API is helping to connect these applications. Second advantage is it supports scalable architectures. Let's say you want to enhance something then you can go ahead and do the changes to API and your rest of the application logic will be as it is. This supports flexible way to access and manipulate data because you just don't have to worry about anything as it is an API. If you do the changes to API, the same changes will be reflected in mobile application as well as web application. Another biggest advantage is platform independence. This allows clients and servers to be implemented in different programming languages or run on different operating systems. This is again an important advantage that we get by using APIs. Even in our day-to-day -day life, we use different applications that use external APIs to fetch the data. Like if you can use Twitter API that provides access to Twitter data. Then we have Facebook Graph API, which provides access to Facebook data. And we have Google Maps API. This can embed Google Maps on web pages. And Stripe API to integrate online payment. And we have Open Weather Map API, which provides access to weather data. These are just a few examples. There are a number of APIs that are available and many applications integrate them to fetch the data series we are going to learn how we can build our own web api using asp.net core mvc framework we are going to learn everything from scratch so stay tuned uh, you will you will find playlist link in the description i will keep updating that playlist and thanks for your time see you soon in the next video thank you